Hey, it's Mimi from HeyMimi.com and I wanted to review this awesome book book case from 12 South. It looks like a distressed antique book. I did love the distressed case. One thing, you know, I paid a lot of money for this thing and I'll tell you why in a minute. All this distressing I think is really cool, but on the spine, I, on every single raised little bump that they have on the spine here, it just looks like someone took a piece of sandpaper or a nail file and just rubbed every single section off of here. So I really wish they hadn't done that. Maybe someone from the company will see this and tell me that it shouldn't be like that. But I don't want to go through the trouble of replacing it only to get another one just like that. But let me just show you what I love about it that makes me overlook this, think it's worth not sending it back even though for 60 bucks it shouldn't look like that. They should tell someone not to distress the spine. This is beautiful distressed look. Okay, but here's the real selling point about this thing is I bought this versus case and it's really slim and stuff, but it does not fit inside my IOTI car mount. And so I bought this because of this feature. You can pull this out and well, for one thing, if you slide it all the way to the left, you can do this and turn it into a stand, which is a really cool design. The whole thing is a cool design, but if you slide it partially to the left, but this is my other complaint, is that they make it in their little video just look so effortless to get this out. I find it quite a struggle, which is a bummer because I was taking it out every time I got in and out of my car so that I could put this in the car mount. And this allows you to slide it forward so that you can put it in an angle, but you've got to get it perfectly lined up to the center in order to get it out. And that's really not that easy of a thing to do. Only way I'm able to do it is to lay it completely flat, really look, line it up in there, and then kind of make sure I'm not pressing these buttons, and then slide it when it's completely on a flat surface. So that is the negative, but I do love that it can come out. It's got a really nice opening here for the camera and it protection's still there, but the leather is not blocking the camera at all. Um, it didn't on this either. This was a good one. You can put some money in here, but it holds one, two, three, four, five cards in here. And it does add some thickness, but if you take one of those cards out, it seems to make a big difference about how, how much it closes. I slip it into my front pocket on my purse or into a very small purse, so that's really not a concern to me. If it was a big deal to me, I would find some easy solution. And this is fine. I want quick access to my phone when it's ringing. Another cool thing about it is that these are really secure and especially your driver's license, but there's a little lip here where it catches it underneath there and makes it even more secure. That is not gonna slide out unless you want it to slide out. I love this feature. Here's how you stand it up like this. You kind of push it, slightly push it um, to the right again to get that out. However, I do not find it easy to get it out at all. But if it was easy to get out, then it'd be falling out all the time. So I think that's fine. And I think I've only had it a few days, so I think I need to just get a feel for it. And I'm sure it'll just become second nature. Putting it back in is easy. I got a little tired of taking it in and out several times a day. I don't know why it is, but to my amazement, I can fold this back and it will hold this whole thing. This easy one touch to IOTI car mount. I think this was about $24. For some reason, I can put this whole case in there and it'll grab it and hold it. Not nearly as secure if it was, you know, just a regular hard shell case, but it'll hold the whole thing. If I'm in a big hurry, I can put this whole thing in this IOTI one, easy one touch and be on the go. For some reason, this case by Versus, which I really do love, it will not grab onto this in the same secure manner that it holds onto this. I really can't say why. Another good thing about these cases that I've found is that you can slip this case in the visor. I would slide it between the visor and the headliner, I guess you would call it. You'd have to have your visor down if you didn't want it to swing back and forth and it'll hold it right there above your eye level. But the best thing about this is that you can slide it out and I don't know if I'm doing something wrong or I'm just manhandling the thing or what. I know you really have to kind of finesse it out of there in my opinion. It's not ne nearly as, I don't find it to be as uh, trouble free as they show unless I'm just 
I don't know, missing something about how this goes in and out. I don't think so. It's pretty straightforward. I just don't find that it slips out the way that it is portrayed in their video. However, if it did just slip out, then it wouldn't be secure, now would it? So I absolutely love this thing. I do wish it had maybe some little Velcro thing, but I did sometimes find this got in the way. So sometimes I wish I, it had it. Um, more often, I'm, I'm glad it just doesn't have it. Even without slipping that in, this one does a better job of standing up like this than this one ever did. Because this little tab got in the way, it doesn't stand up as well. This, is, this one's thinner, but this one stands up like this if you're at home and you don't worry about exposing all your credit cards and your driver's license to people behind you. This stands up really nice if you're at your desk or at your bedside. You don't even have to slip it around like that. So I love this thing. It was expensive. The only thing I don't love is the way that they scraped off the finish on this very thin leather on the outside. I hope if the company sees this and it's not supposed to be like that, then please let me know in the comments so I, I can know to return it and get one that doesn't look all beat up like that because I would have taken better care of my $60 case than this. That is all. Thanks for watching.